ball bag. Thank you, Lavina. Thank you, darling. No ghosts. But Tara takes the sun before you make it. Thank you, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, don't be calling me Miss Red Bar. Thank you very much. I'm a cute witch. Inside of get up, get up. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Happy Halloween, everybody. I love Halloween. Don't be calling me Elf Bar because you'll get blocked. Peace out. Thank you, everybody. Oh, thank you, Jelly Darling. Thank you, Mr. Moo. Thank you, May. Uh, Torian. Thank you, everybody, for the ghosts. Hello, Sammy. Thank you, Sh Cherry. I always say, Sherry, it's Cherry. Thank you, Janae. Is everybody excited or scared? Uh, we ain't no red bar. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, everybody. Guys, I'm not lying. This hat is like pulled all the way down. Because my head's that big. It keeps on popping up. You're still missing letters. <laughs> I know. Thank you, uh, Cherry, darling. Thank you, Tara. Thank you for my ghost. Do, do you love it, Kate? Thank you, guys. Big love, Lou. Thank you, Park, darling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Jenna, darling. Just can't control them. Cast darling for the uh, subscription. Uh, do you know what I mean? This is the best Halloween tune, don't care. Thank you, everybody. Oh, thank you. It's a drama somewhere, guys. Is it popping off? Thank you, Jan. Thank you, Jenny. Oh, right back at you, darling. My favourite too. Is Alex still on? I've been listening to him all morning. 100% Olivia. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Pop, darling. You're going crazy, Poppy. Thank you. Do you know I've had this makeup on since this morning? Yes, I will do you, which is proud. Don't you worry, darling, about that. Thank you, Ace. Thank you, Lisa. Hi, Lindsay, darling. Thank you, Lisa. For my spooky cat, darling. Thank you. Oh, Papa B. Big up for the five subscriptions. Oh, big up, Papa B. Yes, Team Reds, absolutely. Thank you, everybody. Alexa off. 
Happy Halloween, everybody. So today my costume is, as you have guessed, a zombie. Now I'm a witch. Yes. Uh, we went all out this year. Oh, Stitch Bitch, thank you, darling, for my haunted house. Thank you, love. Yes, I love all the love. Thank you. About I ain't got a good community around here. Piss off. We got one of the best communities going. We might not be on the dailies every day of the week, but when it comes to kindness, love, and you know, consistency, you're here, right? Do you get what I'm saying? A community, a community isn't built on money. It's built on loyalty, kindness. You get what I'm saying? Thank you, my Julie. Thank you, Mark, Mark Ryan. About my community's rubbish. Get out with you. Exactly that, Bev. Thank you, guys, for all the ghosts. Big love, everybody. Uh, guys, I'm so sorry about today. Uh, to be honest, when I got up this morning, I weren't feeling too great. Uh, yeah, do you know when you wake up and you're feeling like you got a cold or summer? I think it's because, like... Thank you, me Julie. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. Really kind of you for the ghosts and Incy Wincy and Jella. Do you know? I think it's I think it's a, a mixture of stress, like a sleep. Do you know what I mean? Just wake up feeling shit and like I started getting ready this morning to do ten o'clock and I thought I can't do it. So it's witch flu. It's because I'm on that broom flying around. Do you know what I mean? And the drafts get everywhere. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I had an extra lion this morning. Took the baby to school. I had Alex. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Oh, shut up. Uh, thank you for that. Listen to Alex. I had a little sleep and, you know, just got dressed and thought I'd pop on. Say hello to everybody. See what you're doing for Halloween. Uh, so tonight it is tradition that uh, we take Tilly out. Um, I've got witch flu. Uh, we take Tilly out and she goes trick-or-treating. Uh, like I say, the, the neighbours around here, the selected houses always do stuff for the kids. Do you know what I mean? Like decorations and uh, Halloween bags. We don't just knock on random doors, you know. Uh, I would love to show you here what we've done here outside the house, but obviously I can't dox myself. Because if I was to show you outside the house, people would know where I lived. But I can assure you it's very, very Halloween-y. And, uh, and yeah, we're all festive here. Halloween, it's one of my most favourite times of the year. Love autumn, love winter, because you've got Halloween, bonfire night, and then you've got Christmas. You know what I mean? Yes? Uh, I will not be wearing this outfit later. I will not be walking the streets like this because someone will probably get the wrong idea. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, yeah, so uh, I'll be picking up more than uh, sweeters. <laughs> so uh, I will uh, have a jumper and jeans on. We don't walk streets like this. Do you know what I mean? Not around here anyway. Um, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I just about squeezed into this dress, I tell you. Uh, see this here, guys? That is so annoying. Do you know when you're smoking and the tobacco falls off and burns your chest? That's what happened. So it's like a little burn. <laughs> burn here, it won't go. It's really sore. Um, keep it on. No, I would not be keeping this on later for Simon. No, absolutely not. Don't even mention that because he sat through there, listening. And you can get that out, you red darling. Claire's lying. Uh, yeah, it's a hot rock, but tobacco, not the other thing. Uh, I can't smoke it because I have whiteies. <laughs> I can't touch the stuff. Uh, it's a dodgy Mayfair blue. Can we out? Uh, you can have an outfit check, darling. Oh. Yeah, it's just a little dress, see? Fresh out the bag. Yes. Uh, guys, speaking of uh, Mind Fair Blues, I'm going to participate in the Mind Fair Blue now. Oh. <sighs> Do I have to wear this hat through the whole life, guys? Because it's annoying me. And the ADHD, uh, things bother me, stuck on me, do you know what I mean? That's why I don't wear false nails, false lashes. Thank you everybody for the love. Uh, that's why I have to stay, you know what I mean? Things annoy me, on me. 
do I have to wear, leave the hat on? Le let me just wear it for another 10 minutes, guys, and then I'll take it off. I can't paint my face, darling. Um, I used green face paint a couple of months ago and I had an allergic reaction to it. And my face went bright red. Ask Cockapoo and Jay and Alex and Luke. It was horrendous. I really did look like Alpha Bar after that allergic reaction. Oh. So, if you, what was that Sam said? If you give mm -hmm. on for, for your man, you will have. I don't want to give on for Bob. Thank you very much. You can be soft. Leave me alone. Um, oh, Alex. Alex, what you got to tell me? Alex. Hi, dear, mate. You're right, yeah? Yeah, have you come in to uh, troll me a little bit? No, no, no. Not today, not today. Um, I was going to say, are you doing FYP or just having a chat and chill? Chat, chill, FYP, and a scroll and everything else. Oh, thank, thank you, you Clara. Now, because I was going to say to you, obviously, FYP Clips Drama has put up the uh, video of the pictures that I did. Um, yeah. You know what? Big them up, you know, because they credited me. There's a lot of people that steal, steal the stuff that I do and don't credit me, but, you know, big yourself up FYP um, Clips Drama. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, to be honest with you, it's getting a lot of attraction. I've only done, I only put the pictures up not so long ago. Next thing, next thing you know, it's got like 400 odd likes and it's just going. And then DJ's commented on it and that. Oh, so, where is it, J uh, Jay? Oh, Alex? FYP Clips Drama. FYP Clips Drama. Thank you guys for the love drama. And you, if you go to there, you'll see her. It's, it's got, um, oh. You see uh, Jack Brannan as DG first. Yeah, got it here. You've just played it on your live, haven't you? I've shown them different different times. Like I was going through the pictures and stuff, but um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, do you know what it is? I'm, I, I don't really bother. I don't really bother me people like using the pictures and stuff like that. But it was nice to get credited for once. You know what I mean? Yes, because you are the uh, you know you are the 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 master of these edits. Do you know what I mean? Yes, guys. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll give Alex all the recognition for his pictures because of the brilliance. Yes. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll drop down and let you continue with your live. I appreciate that. And I'll catch you all in a bit. All right, guys. All right, Alex. It was yeah. a good show, by the way. I did listen to most of it. I had you one in the background. You're lying. You was in jail. Thank you, Tara. I'm always in jail, according to Alex. where I was. I was in the police station. I got arrested because I went to be in q uh, I asked them to mix a colour. They said, what colour do you want? And apparently I showed the never regions, the pink uh, peach. And that's the colour pink that I asked for. So don't believe it, a word he says when he's, he's telling you someone's got arrested. Do you know what I mean? And then you got people in the comment section going, oh my God, Miss Red. Like I'm going to go to B&Q and get the never regions out. Do you know what I mean? Not for free anyway. <laughs> um, oh, thank you everybody for the love. I do deserve it to be fair because I've had a terrible time getting slandered all over the TikTok place again. I don't even do anything wrong. I just fucking come on, do my two hours FYP. Um, you know, go off and then I'm watching, you know, some lives on my fake account and I get brought into trouble and I don't even do anything. I did back in the day, but not anymore. I'm innocent around these ways. Last week I robbed the peppermint. What else has he said about me? I need a green wig. I need summer clover. <laughs> oh, guys, thank you everybody for the love. Right, we're at 38 popular and I even I ain't even begged this morning. Um, yes, I ain't even got my bed game on. Right, let's have a look who's on this popular. Who am I winning today? Um, just let me have a look. Yes. Mm -hmm. Guys, can we get me to number? Uh, can we get me to number ten, please, guys? Thank you. I'd be happy with a number ten, guys. I cannot sing "Defying Gravity," Stitch Bitch, darling. That song is banned around here. When I play "Defying Gravity" or anything to do with Alpha Bar, I lose half of my views, so I don't do it. Thank you, White as Snow. Thank you, Amy. Uh, guys, please let me take this half because it's really bugging me. It's really itchy. Uh, to win with Alpha Bar today. Alpha Bar could never look like this. I mean, how much did she pay for her hat? 300 pound? 
I only paid eight quid for this from the Amazon place. It was originally for Tilly, but she didn't want to go to it. She wanted to go as Beetlejuice. So she went as Beetlejuice this morning. Mm. Thank you, Sandra, darling. Guys, we've got 2.3k people. Hello, James and Marie. If you could get your heart knees in so I could get to number 10, that would be amazing. Thank you. Yes. Um, 300. Uh, that's how much Alpha Bar paid for the hat. 300 quid. The new Beetlejuice is iconic. Do you know what, Ashley? I didn't like it, you know. Guys, how many people... Thank you, FYP Clips. Thank you and Kim. How many people have seen the new Beetlejuice? Oh, big love, Alicia. Thank you, Alicia, darling. Alicia knows all about it. Thank you, Kim and Chelsea. I didn't like it. You can't beat the old one. I'm sorry. Like, I ain't going to sit here and say, oh, yeah, I loved it, you know, just because... You know, it's a trend. It's like the, the new McRib. I waited like 15 years for that fucker to come out. And when, you know, when I had it, I, I, I was nearly everywhere. I used to love the McRib back in the day. I don't know what they've done to it. It tastes like dog meat. Do you know them rustler ones? Thank you, Serenity and Suze. Thank you, darling. Them are. Oh, thank you, Sandra, for the clap claps. Them uh, rustler ones, the rustler ribs are loads better, guys. Who's had the new McRib? Happy face, yes. Sad face, no. Quick poll. Pointless poll. Watch the first one, JD. 45 people have had the... Right, and then we'll do another poll in a minute. Look how red it is there, where I've been scratching. Can you see it? Can you see the redness, everybody? Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, thank you, ladies, for the ghosts and gentlemen. Right, so 76 people have had the new McRib, right? Uh, for the 297, don't bother, it's horrendous. Uh, right, that's it. No more witch around here, guys, I've had it. Who thought the McRib was nasty? Oh, it's disgusting. Angie's eyes, Angie. <laughs> yeah, it was rank. Oh, and I had an argument in McDonald's yesterday as well. Um, so me and my daughter went for a McDonald's. We'd, like, we'd been somewhere, because I said I was going to come on yesterday. Uh, but I could, the appointment took longer than what I thought, so I didn't have time to go to B&M. So we were using last year's decorations. Um, and what happened? Oh, thank you, J.D. Marie, for the go. So anyway, I ordered, I always have a fillet of fish, right? A small chips and a hamburger with extra onions and mustard, right? So anyway, I'm not a Karen, I don't moan. You know, if there's food going, I'll eat it. I don't ever moan, you know what I mean? I'm just grateful for the food, basically. So anyway... Um, I was like, yeah, I, and my, I was arguing in McDonald's with the people, the people that worked beyond, because the lad, his name was Dan. Dan, you're getting shamed now here, right here and now, in front of two thousand people. So anyway, I had for my um, fillet burger, my fish fillet, and the cheese weren't even on the burger; it was in the box, and I'm not even over exaggerating. Uh, so I thought I'll allow that one pass. You know what I mean? It's just a burger. Who cares? They must have, you know, had a bad day or something. I don't know. Anyway, the cheese weren't on the fucking fillet of fish. So anyway, I opened my hamburger and like I say, I ordered extra mustard and extra onions. And that's when I knew that this Dan one who was making the burgers was taking the piss because as God is my witness, I'm not even lying to you or over-exaggerating, there was three little bits of onions, no gherkin and no, there was no mustard. So anyway, I take my burger to the till. I said, no, excuse me, I asked for extra onions and mustard. And, you know, there's nothing on it. There was nothing on it. And anyway, the, the lady comes. She said, oh, what's wrong? And the lad said, oh, uh, there weren't enough onions. And I said, no, it's not that there weren't enough onions. There ain't no onions on it or gherkins or mustard. And with that, I handed my burger to this Dan guy at the back. Oh, yes, I got your name, Dan. Yes. And Dan was taking the piss and he put a pile of onions on my burger thinking I weren't watching. And they was all laughing. And that's when I kicked off then. Yes. They all had it in there. 
Over a hamburger, but I don't care because it was the fact that there was taking the piss. Your man just stuck, honestly, the onions were about that high on the on the burger. Ah, oh, thank you, Sugar Bliss, darling. Oh, Sugar Bliss sent 3,000 coins. Thank you, Sugar Bliss. Actually, let me see if my daughter's here because my daughter knows the people that work at McDonald's. One of her best friends is a manager there. And she uh, let me voice note in their group chat that they got, let me go and get her and I'll play it to you. This was yesterday, this was. Sai! Sai! Come here a minute. Quickly. Can I, can I borrow, bring your phone down? Let me uh, play to the people on TikTok what uh, trouble I had at McDonald's yesterday. Just couldn't play. Well, there's no good. Let's put it to the group chat about that land one. Well, we didn't think we were going to do that. Okay. Guys, Sai doesn't want to come down. But anyway, this Dan, this Dan got told all about himself in the group chat. Yes, I told Adam I said sack Dan. And Dan, if you're, a, if you're watching, you're a knob. Don't mess around with people's food. Uh, it ain't that deep, guys. Oh. So I'm just telling everybody about yesterday, so. No, that's not good. <laughs> oh, God. About McDonald. Uh, Dan messing around with my burger. Nothing else. <laughs> uh, complain to the head office, I'll send you vouchers. No, I'm not complaining. I'm over it now, I'm just telling you about yesterday. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Um. I was fuming. And I got a refund for the burger as well because I said I'm not eating it anymore. I said, I don't want this burger now. Can I have a refund, please? But the manageress was really lovely. I said, sorry, I'm not rude, but Dan pushed me to do this. And you could tell that this Dan one was the type that was, ah, oh, thank you, darling. Thank you. This Dan was the type that was messing with people's food for jokes. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but so I was, she was just hiding like that. She was hiding behind her hands. And it's not often I kick off, but when I see people laughing and taking a piss, I don't like it. <sighs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you. This is TikTok's fault. This is the TikTok stress that's pushing me to do, do things like this, things that I wouldn't necessarily moan about. Uh, Oh, here we go. Look at this account. Oh, who's done this, Miss Redsberger? Oh, honestly, please. Can we have a picture on that account, please? At least give me a picture. So is my daughter, darling. She's my youngest. Yeah, she's my youngest. It was so quick. It was too quick. Uh, out of sync. There's nothing I can do about it, darling, because I ain't restarting. Sorry. Thank you, Charlotte. Are you going to be right back? Yeah, go and get a picture, love. Go and get a picture of a burger with three little fucking onions on. Anyway, let's show this uh, edit at Alex's edits. Alexa, play the BBC News theme. Here's BBC News Theme by TV Theme Tune Factory on Amazon Music. Good afternoon everybody, welcome to the Miss Red Show. This morning I was feeling a little bit queasy, nevertheless I got my shit together and decided to come on to say hello to everybody so we can have a little Halloween, uh, whatever, 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 a little chat, scroll the FYP and uh, basically just be FYP kids, yes? And from now on guys, I am watching my language because my TikTok manager said that I'll say that see you next Tuesday word too much and I must stop it. Facts. <laughs> That's what my TikTok moment just said.
sets off. I used to love it back in the 80s. My favourite character was uh, Pauline Quirk. What was her character? Was it Sharon? Sharon or Pauline? I can't remember, but she, it's iconic, weren't it? Um, anyway, let's... So, guys, it's not a proper FYP show today. We're just winging it. Uh, I have got a few... Oh, no! Dan from McDonald's is here. Don't even try it with me today, Dan. And you're free fucking on the ends. Who's that? Clever, I've just been speaking about this Dan one. He's decided to come and about justice for Dan. He's decided to come in here and make my life a misery. Anyway, before Dan rudely interrupted, Dan, you're lucky you've still got a job, darling. Because I don't know if you know who I am, but I miss Reds. I'm a social media icon. I influence the masses. And uh, Dan, if I want your job, I could have it. Do you know what I mean? Take it straight off you. But because it's Christmas, Dan, I'm going to let you keep it. Anyway. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, in. Sorry guys, Susie was at a toilet break. What the fuck is going on with my hair? Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, as I was saying, it's not a proper FYP show. It's just like a winged one and then a chat really. Uh, oh, thank you everybody. Yorkshire Rose, I don't want to know that around here. I don't like Christmas until Christmas Day. Thank you, darling. But for those of you that don't know, it's eight Fridays until Christmas. Thank you guys for the love. Guys, can we push me up this popular, please? Because I'm having a terrible time uh, with Dan in the crowd. Dan's triggering me, I'm not going to lie. Thank you, everybody, for the love. Yeah, I love Christmas on Christmas Day. I just don't like the lead up to it. Thank you, everybody. Right, let's show these. Thank you, guys. This is Alex Brigham's work, but it's on the uh, FYP mm -hmm. underscore clips underscore drama. TikTokers as EastEnders characters. Are you ready, guys? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got DG as Jack, Dave as Phil, Rickster as Billy, my daughter as Karen, CLA as Pat, Corey as Corey, Brett as Ben, and Angie as Shirley. <laughs> ah, who was your favourite character, guys? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> who was your favourite character Alex I don't know if you're still here uh, can you do me as Doc Cotton please because I love uh, I love Doc Cotton and she's always got a ciggy in her mouth and you know I love a ciggy around these ways so, and she's got uh, red hair as well God bless her yes you like Corey as Corey yes I think my favourite one was uh, Davis. Ah, oh, thank you, Justna. Thank you, Holly. I love you too. Uh, my favourite was uh, Davis, Phil Mitchell. <laughs> Rickster is Billy Mitchell, I know. Right. Oh, I got saved. Because I ain't gonna lie, guys. Thank you, Danny Boy. Big love, Jesse. When I when I was gonna come on this morning, I was gonna choose violence. I love you too, Katie. I was gonna choose violence, but I've decided not to because 
by me choosing violence, it's giving people what they want. And I don't want to be rowing and having wars. I just want to come on here, do my little thing and then piss off. Do you know what I mean? So um, I'm not having war. Just not today because I'm in a good mood despite Dan being here. And, you know, we're going to go trick-or-treating later and I love taking to the trick-or-treating. It's my favourite thing to do. Mm -hmm. Right, come on. What'll I do when you are far away? Uh, let me show you something. Trigger warning. Hello, boys. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> my darlings. <laughs> oh, hello, darlings. How are we doing this evening? Your eyebrows. Oh, she's. I've covered him up. She fucked them right up. Uh, uh, Deandra's a lady. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, just today, son. Not every day. Who's a who's a old lady? <laughs> what the fuck, old lady? Right. Can I just say something, right? And. I don't know this for a fact, Roy. I'm just presuming it because that's what I do. Um, obviously, that was the angel dressed as some... Uh, well, you see what it was. I believe that that is, when no one's watching, how he dresses. Because that is not the first time that I've seen him in this outfit. Uh, his wore this red dress and lipstick and everything else a couple of times and look there ain't nothing wrong with having kinks right do you know what i mean there's nothing wrong with kinks but the fact that remy's not even there and his eyelashes are on and his eye makeup's perfect i can't even get eyelashes on do you know what i mean and exactly that, Lewis, he looks too comfortable. And like I say, each to their own. There's nothing wrong with it. Do you know what I mean? But I definitely think that uh, Remy was there. Oh, okay. Well, he still loves the red dress and the red lipstick. Alex Reed. That's what I'm thinking, Holly. That is exactly what I'm thinking. Who agrees with me, guys? That this Deidre one... Um, when the cameras aren't on is, see what I mean? You won't know about it. You can't get anything past us in here. Because the one thing that we ain't is a stupid community or a stupid bunch of people. We know all about it. He's dressed as Beatrice. Fucking hell. Oh. Oh. Paul. Who thinks that the hydro looked a little bit too comfortable? Happy face, yes, sad face, no. Right, let me get some council pop, guys. See what I mean? There's only five people that disagree. And I ain't saying it to be a bitch, because like I say, there's nothing wrong with it, you know? But just own it. Mm. <sighs> Simon's gone to Aldi to get some water, guys. I can't live like this. It really smells. You can smell the bleach in it and the, what is, what's it called? The chlorine. Mm -hmm. I know. Wait, wait, them six people up. Mm -hmm. Fluoride. <laughs> I'm not reading that message out that was just sent. Uh, <laughs> CLA says her life was harder than Marilyn Monroe's. Oh. Do you want to do? 
you know what I've been through, darling, I outweigh any of these stories that you've heard on this shit. Just fucking up. I've been through, through some real shit, darling. Fucking man. You feel like that man around my sons? Are you mad? So I mean, man. So these people on this app, you make me sick to my stomach, sweetheart. And these dusty drinking and that, and then you've got social services. I don't even get me involved with these people, darling. Absolute disgrace to society, darling. These motherfuckers are talking about things that are not even... know what to say about that i don't know what to make of it because i i seen a rant earlier she was having a rant on katie price um hi darling hi. she was having a rant about katie price as well saying that katie price is fake she's got fake this fake that but cla's got fake this and fake that do you know what i mean her lips ain't her own she's got botox she's had the air extensions you know uh you know, the bubbles. So there ain't really a lot of difference between Katie Price and CLA, only uh, Katie Price, like, looks better than CLA. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so I don't understand what these rants are about, to be honest. Uh, Katie Price has lost the plot. I don't think Katie Price uh, ever found the plot, to be honest. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, happy days. Uh, do you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't think you can go at somebody for having work done when you've had it done yourself. I mean, I can, because I ain't had nothing done. I mean, it's quite obvious to see, you know. Now, I like Katie Price. I do like Katie Price. I think she's uh, she's had a rough, rough deal, you know, with men and stuff like that, using her and things. Uh, <sighs> And then for CLA to compare herself to Marilyn Monroe, first of all, Marilyn Monroe is an icon, right? One of the most beautiful women in the world, voted one of the most beautiful women in the world. She's an icon. She's, I don't know if she won fucking Oscars, I don't know. But, you know, there's no comparison, really. Uh, there you go. Team Marilyn, 84%. Team CLA, 15%. Uh, I am not talking about Katie Price's and other regions, thank you very much. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind Katie Price. I think she's, you know, done some silly things, but ain't we all? Not a bit. Uh, give me, uh, sorry guys, my hair's annoying me. It's because I've cut my fringe. I've like layered all my hair. I did book an hairdresser's appointment, but I missed it. <laughs> um, I forgot. Right, where are we going next? <clears throat> this, this, I'll be honest with you then. Oh, Dave backs Miss Rats. Big up Dave Durans. I ain't seen this yet because I've been watching Alex all morning. Let's see what Dave's got to say. This is a blind reaction, guys, by the way. Can I give you my opinion? I think Miss Red has the biggest community on TikTok. I'm the biggest community on TikTok, but it's not a tight knit community, okay? They judge, they don't protect, right? And I'll tell you another thing, they watch her, yeah? So she has a lot of haters that watch her. So they probably, to the why she has a lot of viewers. Now, it's all do, though. Yeah, it's like me now. I've, I've got 700, not 800 people in here. It's probably only 200 people that really I know at my chat and that support me. Yeah. The other, the other five, 600. Yes. They're only here because of you. Yeah, Miss Richie plays more with her. If anyone, if someone else did the 10 a.m. spot, it's a good spot to have. You know, and was consistent. They could probably push her off the head. No, I don't think you'll ever get Miss Red off the head. I think, what's it? I think if they were, you know, um, well, you've got to be good at the FYP, obviously. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody would be able to I take that spot. Everyone, everyone's untouchable. No one's untouchable on TikTok. Yeah, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is anybody can go and do a 10 o'clock slot. Yeah. I don't think it would be as successful as her 10 o'clock spot. Yeah. With yeah, but, a lot of guys tried and it, it, guys with bigger platforms. Platform. But these people, these people weren't good at the FYP. They didn't keep to it either. They gotta, you've got to be consistent. Yeah, I think that's hers until she quits. I'll be real. No, I just. I'll be honest with you. Oh, Dave. Honestly, guys, I hadn't seen that. 
Hadn't seen that video. One minute, everyone. Oh, thanks, Dave. Thank you, darling. Can I just say, right, I, do you know the, the times that I've said I am the 10 o'clock spot? It's only like reactions to what people are saying. Oh, she thinks she owns this, she owns that. And that's like, with me saying, yeah, I do own it. That's just me being a bitch. Nobody owns anything. People are free to go where they want. You know, I'm not holding people ca ca captive here at 10 o'clock in the morning. And I know that we get a lot of views in here. Just like, you know, other FYP hosts, you know, I think, you know, Evil Queen sits on probably the same views. You know what I mean? Uh, but I'm, I'm under no illusion that every... Thank you. Thank you. I love you too. Thank you. I'm under no illusion that everybody likes me that watches me. You know, probably, I don't know, 2,000 of them people watch me because they like me, you know. And the other 3,000, it's just the waiting for the car crash and everything else. But Dave's right, you know. People can try, people can do what they want. And I've always like been a massive supporter, believe it or not, despite what people say. I'm a, I've always been a massive supporter of FYP shows. Um, Millen will tell ya, you know, I, I went in there, supported him. Uh, anyone that's done an FYP show, I've gone in and I've watched and I've supported and not all of them, a majority of them. Do you know what I mean? Because each to their own, I ain't grabbing or forcing people to come here at 10 o'clock in the morning. You know, it's just what people do. It's where people come. And if people don't come here, you know, I had a good run while it lasted. Do you know what I mean? As long as the people that have been here, thank you, everybody, uh, from the beginning are still here. As far as I'm concerned, that's that's an accomplishment to me, you know? And, and I mean that. Do you, do you know what I mean? I, I could come on TikTok and I could come on and smash the dailies and do battle after battle and sit here night and day, but I've got a life, you know. I'd rather be picking my granddaughter up from school, taking my granddaughter dancing, than sat here doing a battle. I'm not going to lie, and I, I, I really appreciate everyone that supports me, and I hope you know that I really do. You know, uh, whether you're sending me a message and you're asking me how I am, whether you send me a lion, whether you send me a heart, me, whether you leave a love heart in the comment, that's it, it, it all means equally as much, you know. And if it comes to an end, if people stop watching, then I'll just go back to a normal, regular, smuggler job. I'll plug in the, you know, the the speakers and I'll probably do a gig here and there or I'll take a job at Asda, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't take this for granted. Uh, but the one thing that I will say is I've probably had the hardest time on here uh, out of other FYP hosts because so many people want to see me fail. So many people, yeah, I work at McDonald's, like we done though, tank and piss off. You know, I don't sit here giving it the big I am, thinking I'm this massive creator, you know? Thank you, everybody. But I, I, it's true. There are so many people that want to bring me down and take this from me and uh, affect my mental health and destroy my spirit and everything else. And you, you, you will see it. You know, yes, I react to people in videos, but I'm not sitting here day in, day out, find you the next person to bring down or attack. I, I, I don't do it. Um, I do I do think it is jealousy. It can't be anything else. Like, I don't, as much as I don't get on with people, I'm not actively wanting to destroy them or take down what they've worked for or take away their income because this is my contribution to my household. Do you know what I mean? Um... You only cover what, exactly, I cover what people put out there and if it was all laughter and giggles, then it'd be positive stuff, right? But laughter and giggles doesn't sell. People want to see the drama, you know what I mean? Drama sells. Laughter and giggles don't, you know? How many people really post funny things of me? Thank you, everybody, for the gifts. When, like, something funny's happened in here and, you know, and it's, how, how, how much of that makes the FYP? It's just... You know, what makes the FYP is if I mess up or someone joins a box and we have an argument. And it's sad because we do have some funny times in here. 
you know, when people ain't trying to break my spirit. And I'm not a victim, you know, I've, like I say, I've owned what I've done, I've done some terrible shit. But, you know, I'm persistent. I ain't done anything that no other creator hasn't done. Like, why, why do I deserve to lose what I've built up? And like I say, I'm not going to stop. So, somebody may come on at 10 and take all the views, who cares? I don't care, as long as I've got people sat here watching, you know. Um. <clears throat> right. The real ones will stay. Like, even if people get bored and they go elsewhere, I don't care. Hi Jill, back to Australia darling. I don't care, it's up to you where you go as viewers. I ain't holding anybody hostage. There's TikTok's a big place. You're on at 2pm and still have 2.6 in here. Exactly. And, and I know that it's you that watch me, you know, every morning that are here now watching me. So, because we ain't really had a lot of hate in here, have we? It's all been positive and love. Do you know what I mean? I'm good, Kieran. I hope you're okay, darling. Because <clears throat> I don't want to be involved in all this drama, guys. And he said, she said. I don't want to be involved in all of that. I've tried to get away from it, but I just get pulled back continuously. <clears throat> I'm 43 years old. I got time to be doing this I just want to come on have a good time and piss off you know what I mean um have I played this one don't say this don't say that don't do this don't do that which now I'm just like a sub board when I come on TikTok because I can't even be yourself darling I can't be Tyrone responds to see a lie and I know there's other things been said about me by people, but I just choose not to, you know, engage in it. Jay's fine, UK is fine ish, she's, uh, because it's half time for the kids. I'm fine, Anne Marie. She's turned TikTok off, thank you, Lee, darling, and she's enjoying time with the kids. Even she's had enough of the drama, she don't want to be involved in it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so she's doing the right thing, taking some time out, and spending time with the kids rather than have to pick up the pieces, you know, because I've had a bad day or someone's had a bad day, you know, she, she just wants to chill, you know, oh, and I'm sending love to Cockapoo as well, I know she won't be watching this, but I love you Cockapoo, and uh, yes, we love all the love for Cockapoo today, it, it does do good, it, the, the breaks off TikTok do you really, they really help your mental health, I've had a few, and when you come back, you just feel so recharged and do you know what I mean? But with me, it's just one thing after another. I can't catch a fucking break. Mm. Yeah, I can't catch a break. Um, so, guys, because the FYP is, it's full of, like, I was going to do clapbacks and things like that. And just, just for today, I don't want to do these clapbacks. I want to... You know, I want to focus on what what nice things are going to happen today, like, you know, taking Tilly trick-or-treating and, you know, I want to hear what you guys do for Halloween, you know, what you do with, you know, your grandchildren, your children. I don't want to be sat here and going back at people. I just want to have a nice day. Yeah, I just want to do something positive. Do you know what I mean? But the videos that are saved, it's all clapbacks and everything else, and I don't want to do it. Not today. I just want a break. Uh, you're watching Hocus Pocus. I, yeah, it's a brilliant film, that Hocus Pocus. Uh, so like I say, the FYP is just, ju just for today, guys. I just, I don't want to be clapping back. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> maybe tomorrow. But uh, just for today. 
Is there any funny for funny stuff on the FYP, guys? Thank you, everybody. Is there anything funny on it? Because I react to funny stuff today. It's Let's have a look. It's like, what do we just dread her platform? Her Miss Red's platform, right? It's a bit like Match of the Day. So Match of the Day starts and they show every football game in the Premier League and then the pundits give their reaction. Mm -hmm. So Miss Red, she shows everything that's on the FYP mm -hmm. and then she and her boxes give no, the she doesn't show anything on the FYP day. She, wants, she shows what she wants to show. If, if it's to do with her friends, she doesn't show it. You know, if her friends are involved, on, you know, they've got a video of her friend on the FYP, she will either, she will either be sick or she won't have a week. Let's be real. Let's be real. If you've got a really good friend and you've got a big audience, would you tarnish your friend on your platform or would you try and protect them and not bring it up? FYP, I'd play that video and I'd have my opinion on it. You said it yourself, Dave, you know... Yeah, but if Angie's friend made the FYP and she had her opinion on it, she would talk about it, but she would still back a friend. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so what's the what's the difference with other people backing the friends and, and me not being able to back my friends? Like, it makes no sense, right? Because no one's going to sit here and go, oh, my God, you're absolutely... If it was a friend, you're, not, you're a fucking disgusting person, you know? You said it, yeah, I know. I'm trying to just think about how, like, like I'm just trying, to, just trying to have a think. I mean, I've said some things before, and I'm probably going back on what I've said before, but it's only because I've sat back, been in the open world, and then come back on the app and thought, you know what? The app's not worth your fucking health or your fucking well, so real life. She runs with no evidence, do you know what I mean? She'll she run with no evidence, and, and that's what I noticed about her. Yeah, but she runs with no evidence. She runs with no evidence. I don't think I run with no evidence, guys. I'm pretty, like, shit heart. Uh, one in the fact one in the truth and if I have ever reported and got it wrong I've apologised do you know what I mean like thank you Ali darling I don't think there's been many times where I haven't got something factual and if I haven't got it factual I'll come on and apologise and say look you know this wasn't the case da, 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 da. that's why I say is this factual is it true do you know what I mean clever are you very clever Dave Am I very, if I was very clever, I wouldn't be fucking going through what I'm going through now, so I can't, I mean, I can't assume yeah, I'm very fucking clever. The questions. No, it's fine. The questions are okay. I don't mind. You can ask on me. I don't mind the questions. Oh, I don't mind the guys. I don't mind the questions at all. Yeah. My, uh, my community, they're very, um, what's that word? Very protective of me, aren't you guys? They are, they like it, they like, nice, they like it, they like a nice little shield, aren't they? Yeah, They like a nice little shield. They are, we, we have the best community. And I tell you who I think there's a lot of creators on TikTok with amazing communities. I'm going to be honest, I think it probably... Who's arguing? No, Dave and Andrew aren't arguing. I think a lot of creators on here have amazing communities, like... Um, you know, I do think Anne just got a good community. Uh, I think EQ, Zach, Zach has an amazing community. You know, look at all the creators that are DG, Dave. I think everybody has an amazing community. Do you know what? Little Mo, I've seen your video and I'm going to save it for tomorrow, darling. Um, do you know what I mean? I think we've all got amazing communities and supporters and things like that. I don't think, you know, even Sobriety Jack. Even, you know, Court Assassin, they've all got amazing communities because people are in there supporting and gifting. Do you know what I mean? That's an amazing community. You can come on this app and fuck up and you've still got people watching, people gifting. You're doing something right and you've got a good community. You've got good people. But I do think some platforms are uh, enable us. Do you know what I mean? I really believe that. Like, you're not in here backing up my bad behaviour every day. Like, if, because I'm not over the FYP for bad behaviour. I'm on the FYP for having opinions on bad behaviour. Do you know what I mean? Um, who, darling, who's on the road? Who's on the road? What's going on? Can someone tell me what's going on, please? Yeah, Tara's got enablers. 
Where's it kicking off, guys? Who's live? Alex is live. Mm -hmm. Alex is getting... Mm -hmm. Guys, Alex is live. I've just told them to drop, guys. I ain't going in there getting involved. I wouldn't get in the boxes with an RDH. The only smell on here is you selling your nummies and Have you ever met me? Embarrassing. Have you ever met me? Who's telling themselves for 2.99? Guys, I'm just going to try and get them out of there. I'll be back in a minute. Same old words. Same old words. Let's hear the full thing. Come on. So, how do I sell themselves for 2.99? No, it's not. It's a £300 pay video. You're only getting it for me. Yeah, I don't jump in boxes like that, guys. I've messaged Alex and Pearl Tallinn to get out. I, I won't do it. Yeah, it's not for me. Uh, they're too toxic. The bo them boxes, when they're like that, are too toxic. I don't mind reporting on it, uh, but I won't participate in it. Uh, I have messaged Alex and told him to come out because it, it, you're not going to win. You can't win. Do you know what I mean? But the thing is with Alex, he'll stay in there and hold his own, you know. He'll, he'll, go, against, he'll go against seven A boxes. Uh, I've messaged him and told him to come out. Right, guys, I'll, I'll be back in a minute. I'll be back in one minute. <laughs>